Hi guys, welcome back to Daily Mix. Today we're going to do a masterclass on eyeliner. We've got the lovely Florence here and we're going to get started. Okay, Sam, what product do you want for this? I want gel liner, please. I have Thank you here. very much. What brush would you like? Um, a fine Louise Young one. So, yeah, it's the LY24. LY a. So, if you look at Florence's eyes, you can see she doesn't have loads of space between her eyelashes and her eyebrows. She also doesn't have massively wide eyes, so what we're going to do is just lengthen the eye. So, what I'm going to get you to do is lift your head up and look down for me. Now, when you're doing someone else's eyeliner, this really helps. The further up you lift the head and the further down you move your eyes, the more space I've got and the less wrinkly the eyelid appears, if that makes sense. So, we've got a nice clean surface area there to work from. She's also less likely to blink and I'm less likely to poke her in the eye, so that's a bonus. So, look down and towards me. I always get my client to look in the direction away from where I'm putting the brush because it, it stops them blinking. So, right on the inside corner there. And now look in the opposite direction. So, down and that way. That's perfect. So, is there a thickness that you should do this liner, Sam? Not necessarily. I mean, if there's not a lot of lid space, I tend to keep the liner quite thin. And most people tend to feel much more com comfortable with a thinner line. On Florence's eyes, she could go thicker. Okay. You definitely could, but it would be... Um, it would be much more of a dramatic effect. What you want to think about is not closing in this area too much. Well, I wouldn't recommend putting a socket through the middle of that area because you're cutting it in half. I would keep this whole area really nice and free of product and just work with a liner. So if you want to go for a really full liner, you can, but I wouldn't recommend you use it with an eyeshadow. Now, some people struggle with where to put their flick. The best way to do it is to look directly into a mirror and put your flick in before you even start. Now, obviously, for me, it's quite easy because this is what I do for a living, but if you're doing it on yourself, you're going to look straight into the mirror and you're going to put your fl flick in right at the beginning. And then look down for me. So you can see it's a little bit scruffy. And then we can just tidy that up. So are you following the flick from the under eye where it would naturally... That's what I tend to do, yeah. The underneath waterline here, if you imagine that that continues up, that's kind of where you want your liner to be. Now, it doesn't always follow because sometimes people have a socket that cuts that area in half, so you can't do that. But we'll get onto that when we move on to different eye shapes. And look down again. So if you want to know other makeup ideas, great celebrities to look at which with similar shape eyes would be someone like Cheryl Cole, where they don't have too much space, so she still wears a smoky eye, but she wings it out a little bit more, so it's more dramatic going outwards. Yeah, Cheryl Cole wears a lot of eyeliner, actually, and she tends to, because actually you've got more space than Cheryl, but because she can't get too much of a flick in, she goes outwards with her flick. That's a good way of doing it. So the next liner Sam is going to do is on Hayley. She's got big eyes and they're slightly downturned in the corners. When Hayley looks into the mirror, you can see that she's got a lot of visible lid space there. So we know that we can do a nice full liner and um, it's not going to cut through and it's not going to transfer onto the lid. So I've picked uh, a little angled brush here. I'm just going to put a little flick in my outside corner here just to see the angle at which we're going to go. So and that's you're using not quite the same right. product as you used I'm using before. the same product. Now, I'm just pushing it to see how far I can go with this. So I might be changing the angle just a little. Yep, that's about right. And I'll do the other eye as well. Look down. And open. Yeah. Okay, and now I can just take my liner and join that up. Look down for me. So I'm just going to drag this across from the outside and open. Because Haley's eyes are slightly downturned, very, very slightly, I'm lifting just this outside corner. So we put the concentration of the colour on the outside just to even that up. And then look down and towards me. So would you say a celebrity to look at would be someone like Katy Perry for this sort of shape eyes? Katy Perry has a really big She's round eye. She's got big eye. eyes, hasn't she? 
Um, but yeah, I would do a very similar thing. I wouldn't do, I wouldn't, on Katy Perry, I probably wouldn't take the liner all over the lid because no. you want the li you want to make the eyeliner more feline. So someone yeah. like Angelina Jolie or Katy Perry is really good. Now for this look, you may be thinking, why has Sam used an angle brush and not a liner brush? The reason she has done that is because it's easier to guide where you want the product to go. So if you just place the brush in, then it will just direct it for you. So it makes it easier to guide, really. I think it's like, this is a great tool if you're a real rookie with liner, because it's an easy way to do it, don't mm. you think? To give the eyes a bit more of a feline shape on the inside corner, I'm going to take this liner right in there. Just open for me. Keep your eye open. And just draw a little line in there. There you go. The next liner Sam is going to show you is on Elizabeth and it's going to be slightly hooded eyes. Now sometimes you can find with hooded eyes that the liner tends to transfer onto the lid. Do you find that? Yeah. I find that. I probably have it now. Um, so a great way to do it is to go for something a bit softer. I'm using a black eyeshadow and often you'll find that you won't be able to do a flick. But what you can do, look down for me, is just use an eyeshadow and just blend it outwards and start working it upwards. So just open your eyes for me. And you'll see you'll get a bit more of that. So this is great effect. for a more mature lady. Definitely. I've got Look down just eyeshadow on today, actually. And you could do this with a gel liner, I guess. But it's a bit more tricky. That's why I'm saying use an eyeshadow. It's very, very easy. And you'll see that what I'm doing with this brush is literally blending it, so feathering it upwards. You will find pretty much whatever product you use, it's going to transfer. So what you're going to need to do, if you're going to do this technique, is put a primer all over the lid beforehand, so something like Urban Decay Primer Potion, and then put your eyeshadow colour over the top of that, and then use your black liner and blend it. You can run over this once you've finished with a sealing gel, a Lamasca make one, and that will keep it put in place. So the sort of celebrity with eyes like this would be Emma Willis? Um, Emma Willis has a slightly different eye shape. Maybe someone like Helen Hunt? Okay, Perhaps. yeah, yeah. You look a bit like Helen Hunt, actually. So what we can do to get a little bit more of a defined shape on this is we can just use a cotton bud, just along the underneath line, and that will just give you a little bit of a sharper shape there. So the next look Sam's going to do is on Vanessa and she's going to do liner for arm and shape eyes. Uh, can I have um, a MAC 209 and gel liner please, thank you very much. Right, so I've chosen a really thick liner brush this time because we're going to do a nice full line. If you look down for me Vanessa and out in that direction, we're going to do a lovely full line. So we'll put our line in first and then we can build up from that. You could really do anything on Vanessa's eyes because they are that great almond shape. Vanessa's got eyes like Naomi Campbell, hasn't she? She does, yeah. Do you know what? You'd also look gorgeous with coloured liner. Yeah, it'd be fantastic. Beautiful. Look down and towards me this time. I'm going to go right on the inside corner there. And then we can start to build this up nice and full. So I go halfway across from the inside and then meet up from the outside. We could really go as big as an Amy Winehouse flick on Vanessa's eye shape because she has so much space from her lashes to her brow that you could just keep going and going and going. I think I'll stop it there, but I love it. What I would do is probably put a few crystals on there or some glitter and it would just look fantastic. That's a look in itself. You wouldn't even need any eyeshadow. So thank you for watching. Thanks to our models for coming down and having their eyeliner done. Hopefully there should be something for most eye shapes there. And um, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more masterclasses, then please put your comments and your suggestions in below this video. We'd love to read them and see what you've got to say. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you've enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. The colour I've chosen to use has a kind of reddish undertone to the brown there. And because red is opposite green on the colour wheel, they're going to intensify each other. They're complementary colours. 
So obviously you're not going to want to wear a red eyeshadow, but you can get away with a brown with a bit of a red undertone to it.